The Philippines has five types of climates, tropical rainforest, tropical savanna, tropical monsoon, humid subtropical, and oceanic. Both are in higher altitude areas, characterized by relatively high temperature, oppressive humidity and plenty of rainfall. There are two seasons in the country, the wet season and the dry season, based upon the amount of rainfall. This is also dependent on location in the country as some areas experience rain all throughout the year. See climate types, based on temperature. The warmest months of the year are March through October. The winter monsoon brings cooler air from November to February. May is the warmest month, and January, the coolest, weather in the Philippines is monitored and managed by Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, Pagasa. Rainfall Monsoons are large-scale sea breezes which occur when the temperature on land is significantly warmer or cooler than the temperature of the ocean. Most summer monsoons have a dominant westerly component and a strong tendency to ascend and produce copious amounts of rain because of the condensation of water vapor in the rising air. The intensity and duration, however, are not uniform from year to year. Winter monsoons, by contrast, have a dominant easterly component and a strong tendency to diverge, subside and cause drought. The summer monsoon brings heavy rains to most of the archipelago from May to October. Annual average rainfall ranges from as much as 5,000 mm in, in the mountainous east coast section of the country, to less than 1,000 mm in, in some of the sheltered valleys. Monsoon rains, although hard and drenching, are not normally associated with high winds and waves. At least 30% of the annual rainfall in the northern Philippines can be traced to tropical cyclones, while the southern islands receiving less than 10% of their annual rainfall from tropical cyclones. The wettest known tropical cyclone to impact the archipelago was the July 1911 cyclone, when the total precipitation for Baguio was distributed over the four days as 14th 879.8 mm, 34.6 in, 15th 733.6 mm, 28.9 in, 16th 424.9 mm, 16.7 in, 17th 200.4 mm, 7.9 in, followed by extraordinary drought from October 19. 1911 to May 1912, so that the annual amount of those two years were hardly noticeable. Typhoons The Philippines sit across the typhoon belt, making dangerous storms from July through October. These are especially hazardous for northern and eastern Luzon and the Bicol and eastern Visayas regions, but Manila gets devastated periodically as well. Baguio is the Filipino term to any tropical cyclone in the Philippine Islands. From the statistics gathered by Pagasa from 1948 to 2004, around an average of 28 storms and or typhoons per year enter the PAR Philippine Area of Responsibility, the designated area assigned to Pagasa to monitor during weather disturbances. Those that made landfall or crossed the Philippines, the average was 9 per year. In 1993, a record 19 typhoons made landfall in the country making it the most in one year. The fewest per year were four during the years 1955, 1958, 1992 and 1997. Pagasa categorizes typhoons into five types according to wind speed. Once a tropical cyclone enters the PAR, regardless of strength, it is given a local name for identification purposes by the media, government, and the general public. Public Storm Warning System PSWS. For the past 10 years, the Philippines has experienced a number of extremely damaging tropical cyclones, particularly typhoons with more than 20 km per hour, 12 miles per hour, 11 kn, 5.6 meters per second, of sustained winds. Because of this, the Super Typhoon STI category with more than 220 km per hour, 140 miles per hour, 120 kn, 61 meters per second maximum sustained winds was officially adopted by the Pagasa. However, according to different stakeholders, the extensive and devastating damages caused by strong typhoons such as Typhoon Yolanda in 2013 made the four-level warning system inadequate. Strongest typhoons Typhoon Haiyan, Yolanda 
The deadliest typhoon to impact the Philippines was Typhoon Haiyan, locally known as Yolanda, in November 2013, in which more than 6,300 lives were lost from its storm surges and powerful winds. Over 1,000 went missing and nearly 20,000 were injured. Winds reached 315 km per hour, 196 miles per hour, 170 kn, 88 meters per second, in one minute sustained and may have been the strongest storm in history in terms of wind speeds as wind speeds before the 1970s were too high to record. Typhoon Angela Rosing Back in 1995, where Typhoon Angela, known as Rosing was an extremely catastrophic Category 5 typhoon that made landfall in Catanduanas and made across Manila. Winds reached 290 km per hour, 180 miles per hour, on one-minute sustained winds. Rosing took 936 lives and the most powerful typhoon that ever hit Metro Manila. Typhoon Bofa Pablo on late December 3, 2012, Typhoon Bofa or known as Pablo made landfall on eastern Mindanao. Damage was over 1.04 billion United States dollars by winds of 280 km per hour, 175 miles per hour, on one-minute sustained winds. Typhoon Bofa was the most powerful typhoon ever hit Mindanao, killing 1,067 people and 834 people were missing. Most of the damage was caused by rushing storm surges and screaming winds. Typhoon Meji, Juan In terms of central pressure, Typhoon Meji, 2010, measured 885 MB. This was the strongest storm ever to make landfall in terms of pressure. It was 295 km per hour, 185 miles per hour, in terms of one-minute sustained winds, killing 67 people and costing over US 700 million United States dollars in damage. Climate types There are four recognized climate types in the Philippines, and they are based on the distribution of rainfall see the Philippine climate map at the top. They are described as follows. Temperature the average year-round temperature measured from all the weather stations in the Philippines, except Baguio City, is 26.6 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooler days are usually felt in the month of January with temperature averaging at 25.5 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit, and the warmest days, in the month of May with a mean of 28.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit. Elevation factors significantly in the variation of temperature in the Philippines. In Baguio City, with an elevation of 1,500 meters 4, feet above sea level, the mean average is 18.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit, or cooler by about 4.3 degrees Celsius 8 degrees Fahrenheit. In 1915, a one-year study was conducted by William H. Brown of the Philippine Journal of Science on top of Mount Banahaw at 2,100 meters 6, feet elevation. The mean temperature measured was 18.6 degrees Celsius 65.5 degrees Fahrenheit, a difference of 10 degrees Celsius 18 degrees Fahrenheit from the lowland mean temperature. Humidity Relative humidity is high in the Philippines. A high amount of moisture or vapor in the air makes hot temperatures feel hotter. This quantity of moisture is due to different factors, the extraordinary evaporation from the seas that surrounds the country on all sides, to the different prevailing winds in the different seasons of the year, and finally, to the abundant rains so common in a tropical country. The first may be considered as general causes of the great humidity, which is generally observed in all the islands throughout the year. The last two may influence the different degree of humidity for the different months of the year and for the different regions of the archipelago. Seasons The climate of the country is divided into two main seasons. The rainy season, from June to the early part of October. The dry season, from the later part of October to May. The dry season may be subdivided further into a, the cool dry season, from the later part of October to February, and b, the hot dry season, from March to May. 
The months of April and May, the hot and dry months when schools are on their long break between academic years, is referred to as summer while in most of the Northern Hemisphere those months are part of spring. Notes References Sources External links <laughs>